So, what's up? How's it going? Long time no see. It's been a bit since I got on here on the YouTube, especially this particular page. I've been trying to do a little bit more with me, uh, Stomp Tattoo. And yes, I'm getting text. So, um, I don't want to restart this shit. Been gone for a bit, um, been busy, uh, just been doing different other activities. I'm still wrestling. Actually, that was a wrestler who decided to text me. Um, I lost a little bit of weight, gained a little bit, a little bit back. Um, I'm about 175 right now. So if you guys have still remember, you know how big I was before. I was about 230 to 40. I was all but big fat boy. Um, not to say that I'm still not chubby um, now, but I can take take my shirt off and, and not feel weird. Um, so that's the cool thing about it. And it was different key points that it was a motivation for me losing weight. First of all, my overall health because I am now 40 years old. Um, it was really bad getting that much older and still being really obese, not being able to be mobile in any sort of way, and it affected everything. Um, so yeah, my wrestling most importantly it affected. So uh, now that I've lost a lot of weight, I'm about 175 pounds. I'm a little guy now. Um, the wrestlers look at me more of a cruiserweight and ask me what kind of high flying spots I want to do, and it's just odd because I'm just now learning to do all those things. I mean, I've been wrestling for 14 years. And I never really had to worry about doing a top rope uh, clothesline or a top rope crossbody or even a drop kick or anything like that because I was so fat and so, you know, stationary and didn't have to worry about doing stuff like that. Um, but now it's a little different and kind of look at my mouth how it's not matching up what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it looks like I still got a little bit of chub, um, but it's nowhere as bad as it was before. I have a 34 inch waist now. Um, which is fucking badass. I haven't had a third point display since I was like 26, <laughs> 25, 26 years old. And like I say, I'm 40 now, so that's pretty badass. Yes. Excuse me for a moment. Let me <laughs> reply to this guy here. So, apologize for that. I actually wanted to get over here and not have any distractions and be able to get them kind of communicate a little bit. Um, been on two minutes and I don't think I've really said much other than um, I lost a lot of weight and I'm really happy. Um, I have a girlfriend now, so that's pretty cool. I um, was told before that I wouldn't really never get over Carolyn until I had seen somebody, found somebody else, and that is true. Um, it's been about almost two years now since her and I broke up, and um uh, I feel great. <laughs> I'm really in such a good mood. Uh, I feel I feel young again. I feel good. I feel happy. And uh, I talk about Nikki a lot. And uh, oops. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I feel really good. I'm really happy. Uh, things are going really great. For those who are on my Facebook, um, you'll, you'll probably see a lot of pictures of her and I together. So, and um, learn my lesson. I won't really mention. Try not to mention her name on here or anything about her because there's a lot of immature little bitches out there. You know exactly who you are. Been there, done that. Played the game. So I'm not going to mention too much about my personal life, um, per se, when it comes to that. And uh, I was going to keep it right, you know. Um, one thing I don't miss about, I didn't miss about YouTube being back on here is a lot of the haters and stuff. And there's two guys in general. One is somewhat pretty cool. I caught him on a somewhat basis on uh, Facebook and all that so you know we're kind of cool but hey the past is the past brother so uh, but the other guy uh, I'm glad I had nothing to do with him he was an annoyance he was a pest two face so um, yeah and I will give a hint who I'm talking about the one guy that I'm really cool with I'm pretty relatively close I don't live far from him the other dipshit, he just hope I never go back to that state again, brother. Because I was there at one point. I wrestled there. Another hint. If I ever see you, dude. It's all good, though, man. It's what it is, bread, right? But uh, there's too many people I had little issues with before. One's pretty cool, one's a dumbass, and I'd love no more put my fist through his face. <laughs> it's not a threat, by the way. Talking shit. Um, so, anywho, uh, 
that's about it, really. Um, I'm going to try to get myself used to getting back on front of the camera and doing more stuff. Uh, it's a little more like that. Uh, my wrestling, like I probably will end up uh, putting that over and add links and stuff. There's actually a new company this weekend called uh, Next Evolution Wrestling. Definitely check them out at evolutionwrestling.com. I will not put a link under here. You'll just have to come back and listen to what I'm telling you. Uh, it's www.evolutionwrestling.com. You will see your boy Vampire Gabriel Mackay on there. Um, I, we make our debut for this company, and I'm going against the evil, deceptive Cage Daniels, along with his uh, manager, what's your bucket, uh, Fluffy Fifi or some shit. <laughs> Sorry, Cage. <laughs> um, I'm also going to have my manager, Morgan LaRue, is going to be in my corner. So we're going to have fun. We're going to, you know, it's going to be pre Halloween ish, which is always a good time for Vampire Makai. I get to actually be me. It's, for me, it's Halloween 24 7. So uh, 365 all the time, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I get to enjoy, put the, the makeup on, get the fangs, get the, the whole gear. That was good stuff. I thought there was another thing I wanted to mention about that. Um, because I make my own costumes and such. Uh, with uh, the, the character I have now, I first introduced him when I was really fat. So um, now I lost all this weight and all that. I mean, I'm actually wearing a large, and you can see it's like just way too big. I have probably to go down to mediums here pretty soon. But um, when I was Makai, when I first made that outfit that I'm actually talking about, I was probably wearing maybe a double X, close to three X, and it was just snug I and mean, it wasn't really too tight. Now I had to redo, I had to actually take it apart, <laughs> and I had to resend the, the hips and the, the waist and all that because my waist got so teeny now. And uh, my shoulders, you know, I had, uh, I had to basically tear apart the whole outfit and just redo it. And it's hilarious because I was in here, uh, and the computer stuff. Okay, I was in here. Um, sewing and stuff with my mom because I'm actually at her home right now. Um, so she's like, what are you doing? Because you know, she hasn't heard me sew forever. And I was like, I, I got so fat, I had to, you know, I had to redo my outfit because I'm little now. So, And it was funny because I was, you know, cutting parts off, like uh, the waist and some of the shoulders and all that. And I had little strips of material that, you know, once was kind of snug on me before. And now it's just, I throw away like it's no big deal, you know. And I redid the outfit and I finished it and I showed her. I was like, okay, what do you think? And she's like, it's so little. <laughs> I just love that shit. I just I love it that, you know. I was able to change myself that dramatically to all my costumes now just don't fit, you know. And now, obviously, you know, I got them right. And so um, I just think that's pretty cool that, you know, everything's changed. And eventually, like I said, I will be showing um, more pictures and more videos and such of some more wrestling. I'm going to try my best to get back on here. Um, so, yeah, I think with this page, or maybe it was with the Is Hawaiian Forever, one of those where it's almost borderline getting took off. I had so many... Uh, like strikes on it. I think now it's been for like a year probably since I've even been on this on this page. Everything's cool again. So who knows? I might just get the bug, try to get um you know, partnership or whatever. I think I'm in a good place now where I got away got away from all the haters and stuff and I can actually bring you guys a good product. Um trying to get into the mix where I feel more comfortable being in front of this camera <laughs> so I can start to communicate with you guys and I maybe even cut my phone off too so all right, so that's about enough of my mumbling. I will get back on here. Now I feel a little more of a comfortable thing talking to you guys. So let me know. Did I mumble? Did I babble that much? Um, did I, you know, get some good stuff? So let me know. Daddy-o. All right, laters.